World Intellectual Property Day is a time to celebrate medical breakthroughs that are transforming the lives of patients. By 2050, seven out of 10 of our population will be in urban India, of which three out of 10 will be in slums. This means communicable diseases will come back, so will NCDs. NCDs are already 60% of the disease burden, and this will go up to 80%. Delivering quality healthcare for India's 1.3 billion people is a huge challenge and innovation will be the only way out. New treatments and even cures are bringing hope to people suffering from devastating illnesses around the world. India can be a leader in medical research. It has the potential to pioneer the next new treatment or cure. Valuing and protecting intellectual property will be essential to their success. I've worked in the pharmaceutical industry for the last 16 years, and I've been closely associated with innovation and the intellectual property, and I was able to discover a new drug called Serturo for treatment of uh, drug-resistant tuberculosis the first new drug to be discovered for tuberculosis or drug-resistant tuberculosis in the last 45 years. It, it's a real innovation. It's a real milestone which is saving the lives of millions of pe people across the world. Without intellectual property and without the right level of innovation, without our heart and soul in this project, we would not have been able to develop the first new drug for tuberculosis to be discovered in the last 45 years. This drug is saving the lives of millions of people across the world and thanks, thanks to the intellectual property laws, thanks to the innovative spirit and thanks to the, uh, to the wonderful science, I think we have been able to make the difference. We have been focusing a lot on in innovation, particularly as it relates to improving healthcare delivery and improving the health of the people of our country. We, we are encouraging young startups, young faculty in medical colleges, as well as working with the industry to try and bring together the ideas, the needs, and the concepts that can be taken forward for developing new tools. For example, in the area of tuberculosis, we've now called upon all major stakeholders in the country to come together to help us develop new tools in the area of diagnostics, as well as new drugs, and new vaccines to control the huge burden of tuberculosis that we face today. We're looking in the next 15 years at eliminating diseases like malaria, tuberculosis, filariasis, kalazar, measles, and so on. And this can only be done if innovation is given a big push. And innovation, not only for the sake of patenting and rights, but also for the sake of sharing that knowledge to have an impact on public health in this country. Innovation is the currency of the 21st century and the compelling reason why millions in our country have need to access to this currency. Patients all around the world are living longer, healthier, and more productive lives and will continue to do so given the fact that there are 7,000 medicines under development for unmet medical needs. India's government says healthcare innovation will be good for India and for everyone across the globe. Now is the time to go boldly. Now is the time to embrace the intellectual property protections that can propel India to the forefront of medical research. Multiple stakeholders and an enabling ecosystem is a prerequisite to manage these challenges. The diversity of these is huge. 